In this video, I am going to show you how to change the DPI of multiple images simultaneously using Adobe Bridge. If you do not have Adobe Bridge, you can go to their official website and download it there. Once you are signed in and you have opened up Adobe Bridge, you are met with this interface. This does seem overwhelming, but you can ignore most of the features here since we are only going to be focusing on resizing images. Your desktop will be shown in the center. Using this interface, navigate to the folder that contains all the images that you want to resize. Now, if you look at the application bar at the top, we are going to go to the workflow tab. Once we do, this new layout will appear. Notice the different panels. The task diagram here in the center, the workflow panel on the bottom left, and the workflow details on the right. In this bottom left panel, there is a button called Create New Workflow. Once you click on it, it will create a new tab right here. You can actually double click on this tab if you want to rename this workflow, but for this example, I will not. Then in the task diagram, look for the small plus sign. Click on it to add a task and choose resize to. In the workflow details section, you should see the resize to task that we just created, as well as some other workflow saving options that you can use to control where you want to save the new images. So if you look at the task details, you'll see two options. Either scale down the images by a specific percentage or resize them to either fit or fill specific dimensions. I'm going to choose fit because I don't want my images to be cropped. If you open this drop down menu, you can choose long edge to automatically detect and resize the longest edges of your images to the dimensions that you specify here. If you choose short edge, then the dimensions will affect the short edges of your images. And if you choose width height, then you can resize your images to fit inside the rectangular area. We are going to select width height. And in these two boxes, we are going to put 5,000 pixels. 5,000 is the preferred size when dealing with POD products such as sweatshirts to make sure it will not be pixelated. You can check don't enlarge if you don't want your images to be scaled up. Sometimes the images get enlarged when exporting. So to combat this, you can just check this box. You can change the resolution in this text box. This is the important number. To the right of this box, it specifies that this is measuring pixels per inch, which is important when dealing with printing custom logos and designs on physical products. It is essentially the DPI. You can increase or decrease this number to the desired amount, and then click here to save your workflow preset. Then select all your images, Control or Command A, drag and drop them onto the preset in the workflow panel, and then click Start Workflow. All these images will now be resized according to the dimensions we specified. Thank you for listening.